you can hear that magic shimmery sound. Ah, another room. Health elixir, eggfish. Oh, this is the, uh, what you called previously the... Ah, Overseer's... Yeah, it's an Overseer's music note. Mm. Yesterday an Overseer passed in the street near me, playing the strange music from the Abbey. Beneath his mask, I could not see his face as he turned the crank on his music box, but I could hear his voice muttering verses from the sacred texts. Fear overcame me, because it is forbidden to carry bone charms and similar such items for luck. The overseers are completely unforgiving in this matter, gripping mine in my pocket, feeling its warmth. I walked with my head down. He was heading towards the royal physician's home, that shaggy Sokolov, and something odd occurred. I could swear the charm in my hand retreat reacted to the overseer's music, growing cold. Some inner vibration seemed to go still. I found a book that is perhaps related to this and will study it so that I might understand. Okay, so that's another hint for... Later on, we'll encounter some of those music boxes that are actually being carried by overseers, and they will be quite dangerous. Okay, now we're getting pretty close. <clears throat> quite a few guards, as you can see. Sleep darted that guy. Later on, if I'd had explosive bullets, I could wreak some real havoc on these dudes. But that'll co you'll see that sooner or later. Gee, this guy's isolated. him away. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. One of the sir. What's that? One of the ways of getting past these obstacles involves turning off that big machine. With the big ro you know, the big rotating gears. Then once it's off, you can like actually mm. crawl through it. Actually, presum presumably if you had like the time stop power, you could crawl through it that way as well, but it's still on. Or maybe time I don't or maybe even I don't know, I'd have to see how fast it is. But Oh, just that's an awkward position. Hate to be found like that. Yeah. Use the switch. And it stops. Speaking of things that are about to stop. <laughs> See if we can get it. Yeah, yeah, nice. And it's good! I just noticed that you jumped uh, and fell faster than... What the fuck? Oh, that, that, that's a river crust. That yeah. is a river crust. I forgot. I was going to say, I just noticed that you jumped and fell faster than the body you threw. Did I? Maybe I'm more aerodynamic? This is a wall of light in the distance. Uh-oh. 
he suspects. Now he'll never suspect anything again. <laughs> he okay. could have made detective. <laughs> he would have gotten his own squad after what happened last night, Nick. Didn't you hear? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can crawl through these, through that machinery once it's off. Of course, if everyone around here is already dead, it's kind of superfluous. Mm -hmm. So you can't blink through it? I don't know. Maybe you can. I've not tried it. <laughs> did I manage to hit the mute button in time? Yes, you did. Good. Nick, Nick just let off this horrific torrent of obscenities that I, was too much even for this Let's Play. Luckily, I caught it. Excellent. Always vigilant. Oop, copper wire. Back to my loot construction site looting. <laughs> Apricot tartlet. I wonder if that'd be any good. I don't think I've ever had an apricot. Really? Not that I can recall. Hmm. Actually, I'm trying to remember. No, oh, there's a power. There's a some wires. Follow this cable. Now oh, there's a power supply. Yep. There is a recipe for an apricot tartlet at yeah. this site called uh, Gourmet Gaming. Really. Yes. Is it like game inspired? All game inspired foods. Fascinating. Do they have brined hagfish as well? Is that also from Dishonored? Yes. No. I think they only have one recipe per game. Oh! Oof. Smarted a little on the on the dismount. But oh, that's right. Yeah, there's yet another section to go through before I reach actually reach. Sokolov's house. Locked from other side. Now let's have a look around and see what we can see. Oh, he's another way in. trouble. That is a lot of rats. Like I said, they attack in swarms. I'll find a way to keep these rats off me so that I can get out. Remember, if you just need to stand a few feet above them and slash away, basically. They can't get at you. And once they're down to just a few, the swarm will disperse. Too afraid now. Yeah. Ugh. Gunk all over your sword. Oh, yeah. Oop. I hear that magic sound. Thank you for helping me. I thought it was safe. There were rats. So many rats. Completely infested. I know some folks aren't superstitious, but I swear, the rats showed up after a man came through, waving around an amulet of some kind. Really? It looked like it was made of bone. Ah. He's dead now, like the others who were living here. Again with the, the, the bones and bone amulets and trinkets and gigaws and bibelos. <laughs> what the- oh! <laughs> that bone amulet has even cursed the room's physics! Oh! Yeah. Oh, that.
Tyrion, oh, Tyrion's journal. It's a long way from Westeros, but let's see what happened to him. 26th day, month of wind. I finally found a new place where I should be able to hide and survive for a long time if I stay quiet. The City Watch condemned the building, so this basement should be a safe spot. I have to believe that. 28th day, month of wind. Everything is going as I expected. The Watch patrols on the streets nearby, but they never enter this building. Food is the only problem, but I managed to steal some during the night. Second day, month of darkness. Someone else found this place and wants to share it. He has a strange amulet made of bone, and he claims that it protects him from the plague. We'll see. Perhaps we can help each other out. But I'm losing confidence in the odds of survival. Fourth day, month of darkness. Since he arrived, I've been having bad dreams, and I don't really feel, I don't feel really well. There's more and more rats in the building. Soon, I won't be able to leave this shack even if I want to. I'm starting to think that his amulet is cursed. So, yeah. You maybe notice a running theme here. But... And so, I, of course, I immediately pick it up and take it with me. Enemies have a slight chance to miss with guns. Unnerving target. Hey, there's an ad for the Golden Cat in here. I don't know if this is really a key demographic for them, but... <laughs> and basement-dwelling insane people. Then again... I shouldn't be slighting basement-dwelling insane people, really. Well... Okay. So now, onward. I would not eat fruit that's just been left out here. Well, it restores his health. Ooh, Tivian Ore. Powdered Crystal. Call to the Spheres Volume. Ooh, ooh the, the, the complete Call to the Spheres Trilogy. Let's... Have a look. Okay, now this is this is just the uh, this is just the first one again. Mm. You, you remember these, right, Nick? Yes. All right, we can check out the others, see how the saga continues. Call to the Spheres, Volume Two. <coughs> Excerpt from a work of fiction, Middle Chapters. Orcado was elated, like a boy of six, like a boy of sixteen on the eve of the Fugue Feast. When we are back in Gristal, I'll be named Royal Physician. Or you'll be burned for heresy, Third Prefect. All depends on what we find when we get there. My master's voice was different, as if the air of the outer spheres added qualities normally absent. Uncertainty, weakness, fear. I risked another glance at the monolithic structure in the distance. It was a wonder for Orcado, a puzzle for Overseer Bryn, and for me a towering monument to emptiness, a magnificent shrine to madness. Hmm. The story seems to be taking a bit of a dark turn, Hmm. Let's see how Call to the Spheres Volume 3 continues the tale. Excerpt from a work of ch fiction, Final Chapters. I do not fear the void, nor am I concerned with the spiritual sanctity of the weak. For, now I, for I am now his herald, his chosen, having seen his sublime vault, where eternally he feeds upon the substance of the void. Oh, this is about the origin of the Silver Surfer. I get it. <laughs> Alone in Orcado's ship, the floor painted red with life, I draw designs with my fingers and gaze through the portals at the land rising below. There I will build the first monument to his glory, a rotting wound in the flesh of nature. Patiently, I'll build, awaiting your, arri awaiting your arrival, O great scion of the void. So, okay, that's, that's how the story ends, I guess. Well, maybe the movie version of Call to the Spheres will be better. Though it usually I isn't. Really doubt it. Yeah, it's true. Maybe they'll just cast Nick Cage in that. <laughs> Can't go wrong. You can, but 
<laughs> it does go wrong. It has to be horribly wrong to make it right. <laughs>